so here we have another questions assuming ideal gas behavior calculate total pressure if the barriers separating the compartment are removed assume volume of barrier is negligible so here three compartment we can see here helium neon xenon and each have two liter four liter one liter and pressure is also given temperature also given so if you remove this compartment if you remove this and this compartment so what is the total pressure so it is very easy first you find the moles of the each gas okay so after finding we will take the total pressure so moles of helium is how much so pv by rt so we can see a 3 into by rt similarly most of the neon is how much so this is your 10 by rt and most of the genon is how much so 1 by rt so total moles is this is total moles will be your 3 plus 10 plus 1 3 plus 10 plus 1 so this becomes into r by rt so this is a total moles now second is total pressure so pressure total is uh, n total into rt by v so we can put here so this is your 14 so this is nothing but 10 plus 3 plus 1 14 so we can here 14 by rt into rt by v this is cancelled so here so v is nothing but the 7 4 plus 2 plus 1 7 so we will get here 2 atmospheric pressure this is the total final pressure Now second question, 11 moles of nitrogen and 12 moles of hydrogen mixture reacted in a 20 liter vessel at 800 Kelvin. After equilibrium was reached, 6 moles of hydrogen was present and 350 liters of liquid water is injected in equilibrium mixer. So this much water is injected in equilibrium mixer. The resultant gaseous mixture suddenly cooled to 300 Kelvin. What is the final pressure of gaseous mixture? Assume the pressure of liquid solution. We have to mind the liquids and assume also all ammonia dissolved in water, no change in volume of liquid and no reaction of nitrogen and hydrogen at 300 Kelvin. So no reaction, no change in volume. This is the only conditions given. So right here N2 plus H2, it will give you your ammonia, two molecules of ammonia, three over here right here. So this is initially at most is 11 initial. So initial is 11, this is your 2 so this is 0. So at equilibrium, so we will get here, this is your 9, this is your 6 and this is your 4. So total moles is total moles of nitrogen and hydrogen. So definitely 9 plus 6, 9 plus 6 is 15. Okay. Now next is ammonia is reacting with the water. So water reacting, so it will convert into NH4OH okay and this is again a liquid solution so volume of so now volume of volume of ammonia in vessel left will be how much so 20 minus so 20 is the 20 liters and uh, so how much water injector so this is water injector 3.5 liters okay so this will becomes 16.42 liters okay so here you make correction this is your liquid water is there so 3.51 this is the water so here you put 3.5 liter the so 20 is the total liters okay and minus this is water so this is the ammonia liter present in the vessel now we can apply so pressure of gases mixture gaseous mixtures okay this will be n into rt by v so here and we have n is the total that is the 15 moles and r we know that so it is 0 0.0821 0 0.0821 so again uh, multiplied by temperature is 300 and divide by volume so volume is given 16.42 so on solving we will get here 22.5 liter so this is our answer So two vessels by a valve of negligible volume, one container, one as 2.8 gram nitrogen and other container to completely evacuated, another is evacuated. So container one is heated to T2. 
so while container 2 is maintained at t2 by 3 kelvin volume vessel 1 is half of that of vessel so it is see here so you draw one diagram so this is like this something is there so this is volume 1 this is the this is the volume 1 is liter this is your 2v okay double temperature is here t something t2 this is your t2 by 3 okay and this is your uh, containing initially this is locked this is locked and here containing 0.1 mole nitrogen and here it is contained let's suppose x mole nitrogen x mole nitrogen okay so what on, on heating if you remove it some nitrogen will come to this side okay so we can see here x mole of nitrogen so we can see after heating after heating what happened so vessel 1 in vessel 1 what will happen so vessel 1 p into v equal to so 0 0.1 minus x so what is this x is this is the x mole okay so x mole is transferred here so 0 0.1 minus x here initially by 0 0.1 mole so 0 0.1 minus x okay into r into t2 okay so this is the equation number one now in vessel 2 the second pressure is p into total because this is open initially this by this one now open after opening so this is becomes here so x into r into so here we can write here t2 by 3 in this case pressure 2 so it is 2b so pressure into b into this will be so this is the second equation so pressure p into 2v this is 2v and here pressure so in this case pressure is fine so pressure will be equal so we have to given pressure will be equal okay after opening after valve opening valve opening so after valve opening pressure will be equal so this will be equal to each other the x into r by this so here we can find out so from 1 and 2 so we will get here 2 so we solve you can solve this is 2 is equal to x divided by 3 into 0.1 minus x you can divide it if you divide this, this is 1 by 2, so 2 by 3, that's 2, 1 into, you can write this way here, so x by 3, equal, so here we can solve, x equal to 0 0.6 by 7 mole, okay, and weight of, this is nothing but the weight of nitrogen, so weight of nitrogen will be 0.6 by 7 into 28, so we will get here 24 gram of nitrogen. Now one more thing, uh, vessel so 2 contains 2.4 gram of nitrogen okay and next vessel 1 contains 0 0.4 gram of nitrogen okay so weight of 1 by weight of 2 second vessel will be 0 0.4 by uh, 2.4 so this will come sir 1 is to 6 so this is our final answer A mixture of ammonia and hydrazine is placed in a sealed container at 300 Kelvin. The total pressure is 0.5 atmospheric pressure. The container is heated to 1200 Kelvin at which uh, time both substances decompose completely like this one. Okay. So after decomposition complete the total pressure is 200 Kelvin found to 4.5 atmospheric pressure. What is the mole fraction of hydrazine in the poisonous mixture? Now you take here, suppose let initial mixture contains initial mixture the so before reaction so contains n1 moles of ammonia n1 moles of ammonia and n2 moles of hydrazine that is n2 h4 okay. so total moles is n1 plus n2 this is the total and after decomposition after decomposition okay so we can see here so ammonia is here 2 in h3 and 2 plus 3 h2 okay so this is suppose n1 this is your 3 n1 this is your n2 and this is your 2 n2 
total will be your so total will be your uh, n2 is how much so n1 plus 2n 2n1 and here hydrogen will be how much so 3 plus 2 5n2 so this will be your 3 plus 1 4n2 so this will be your 4n2 4n2 okay no sorry sorry this will be your 2 3 plus high is n1 but this is your 4 n2 a per mole this is a 2 moles of ammonia so this is divided by 2 this will be a 2 n1 because we are uh, getting ammonia 2 moles right here properly 2 ns3 we are getting here in nitrogen plus 3 moles of hydrogen okay this will be your if you divide it it will be by 2 this will be 2 so this is your n1 by 2 this is your 3 by 2 by n1 so total will be 3 plus 1 by 2 n1 so here we will get here 2 n1 similarly hydrazine so in hydrazine we can write here n2 plus h4 it will give you n2 plus 2 h2 so this is again 2 n2 and here it will be your so not 1 n2 and here will be 2 n2 so total will be 3 n2 ok so answer will be your so you can see total moles this one total moles after decomposition after decomposition ok so this will be your 2 n1 plus 3 n2 ok this is our basically answer this is total moles now before heating so before heating how much was there so 0 0.5 into v so this is your n1 plus n2 into r into 300 ok a second after heating so after heating how much it will be here so after heating this will be your 4.5 into v volume is same and this will be 2 n1 plus 3 n2 into r into 1200 so we can solve here on solving so on solving what happens uh, 2 n1 plus 3 n2 divided by n1 plus n2 and this will be your 4.5 by 0 0.5 okay so on solving we will get a 9 by 4 okay so now you can see here n1 by n2 will be 4 by 3 okay so n2 by n1 plus n2 will be your 3 by 4 into 100 that is 75 percent so N2 is nothing but the moles of hydrazine. Okay, so mole percent of N2H4 is the hydra. So this is our basically answer.